Hey everybody, I'm Joshua Oro, the Mustang Prince, and welcome to Mustang Prince or Reports. Now, for this month, I'm kind of in a bit of a sci-fi mood, and to start off tonight's episode, let's take a look at a famous character that Ardman fans love, Sean the Sheep. Now, if you may recall, during the summer of 2015, I looked at Sean the Sheep's first theatrical movie, and despite the fact that there was no speaking dialogue, it was still a wacky and thrilling adventure where Sean and his flock were in the big city trying to rescue their farmer while avoiding animal control. Also, while some people consider it as one of their favorite animated movies of 2015, well, in my eyes, it was pretty good, but my favorites from 2015 were actually Inside Out, The Good Dinosaur, SpongeBob 2, Sponge Out of Water, Hotel Transylvania 2, The Peanuts Movie, and, bash me if you want, Strange Magic. But, after Ardman's recent stop-motion movie, which was Early Man, who would have thought that Shaun the Sheep would have a sequel where he comes in contact with alien beings? Well, let's find out. Released in the United Kingdom on October 18th, 2019, and to Netflix on February 14th, 2020, a.k.a. Valentine's Day, this is a Shaun the Sheep movie, Farmageddon. Now, let's get started. When an alien with amazing powers crash lands near Mossy Bottom Farm, Shaun the Sheep quickly makes a new friend, and together with Bitzer, Shaun goes on a mission to shepherd the intergalactic visitor home before a sinister organization can capture her. So... What do I personally think of this movie? Well, despite the lack of speaking dialogue, I thought this was a pretty cute and funny movie. And yes, I enjoy it. But to further explain why, let's move on to Mustang Notes. Plans for a Shaun the Sheep sequel began in 2015, following the release of the first film. The film officially began production following the end of production of Early Man back in 2018. Richard Starzak, who co-directed the first movie, was announced to return as director. However, in November 2018, the film was later announced to be directed by Will Betcher and Richard Fallon. Now, what are my thoughts on the animation? Well, in my eyes, like the rest of Aardman's movies, the stop-motion animation is brilliant, and I really love how the animators made their animal characters have human behaviors and personalities. Also, some of the atmosphere made me think of another Ardman movie, but I'll get to this movie when the time comes, I promise. But I also thought the humor was pretty cute and funny, and there were some parts that referenced movies like Signs and E.T., so, that's basically all I got for Mustang Notes. So, let's move on to the cast. Let's begin with our main character, Sean the Sheep, vocalized by Justin Fletcher, who played host on his comedy show, Justin's House, and he also got to voice in the Famous Five on the Case series. To me, like in his show, Sean is a fun, friendly, but mischievous and stealthy sheep. And in this movie, I think Sean makes a great mentor for his new alien friend. Next, we have Sean's friend, Bitzer, vocalized by John Sparkles, who also does the vocals for the farmer. Now, in my eyes, Bitzer is a smart, strict, and organized farm dog whose job is to keep all the animals at Mossy Bottom Farm in line. And in my opinion, I think Bitzer can be pretty bossy when he tries to ban Sean and his flock from doing dangerous escapades. Later, when the farmer decides to make an alien-based theme park in order to earn enough money to buy a new harvester, he makes Bitzer dress up like an astronaut and post advertising posters all over town. Next we come to Lula vocalized by Amalia Vitali. To me, 
This young alien is playful, cute, and I find it cool that she can mimic any sound effect. Also, she can move objects with her mind, and of course, her favorite food is pizza. We also have Mug 1 and 5, vocalized by David Holt, who got to voice in the CGI Jungle Book series. This robot works for the Ministry of Alien Detection, and I feel like he might be the first robot that I've seen in an Aardman animated movie, and to be quite honest, he's the funniest character in the movie due to his movements and his actions. Finally, we have the villain, Agent Red, vocalized by Kate Harbour, who got to voice in the Bob the Builder series. To me, this character is a villain who really means business, and I think it's pretty interesting that her secret base is hidden underneath a fake car wash. Red's motivation for being a villain is because when she was a child, Red had an encounter with Lula's parents. However, her classmates didn't believe her story and they laughed at her. And this trauma caused Red to dedicate her life to finding and capturing alien beings. Now let's move on to my final words. Overall, Farmageddon is a cute film to watch, and while the film has a lack of speaking dialogue like the first film and Sean's TV show, it makes up for it with characters, comedy, and brilliant stop motion. So, if you folks get the chance, be sure to tune into Netflix and watch this movie with your kids and your families. As for my rating, I give it a 90% out of 100. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to join me for my next blog, Mustang Power.